welcome to another A-Level Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on floating point binary. Floating point binary is a method that allows for the storage of very large and very small numbers by taking advantage of a system that's very similar to scientific notation. This is where the number is stored in two parts. The first of these is the mantissa, which is going to be a number between minus one and just less than one. And the second is an exponent. This tells us by what power of two we need to multiply that number to form the final number. This works in the same way as scientific notation, which effectively shifts the position of the decimal place. If we look at this example here, the number 11000101, if it is a floating point binary number, stored so that four bits are used for the mantissa and four bits for the exponent, would actually be minus 16. The mantissa would work out to be minus one plus a half is minus a half, and the exponent would be five. So we would get minus 0.5 times two to the power of five, and that equals minus 16. You may be asked to calculate the value of a number given the number of bits for the mantissa and the number of bits for the exponent. Both the mantissa and exponent are always represented in two's complement, so the most significant bit in each will always be the only one that's negative. The mantissa represents a fractional value and the exponent a whole number. If we take a look at these examples, we can see that for the mantissa, it always starts with minus one and then ignoring the sign, it halves as we move right. For the exponent, it's easiest to start in the rightmost column with a one, and it doubles as we move left, remembering, of course, that the most significant bit needs to be negative. So looking at our example 8-bit number 01010010, we can see that if we're using five bits for the mantissa and three bits for the exponent, this would work out to 2.5. However, if we were using three bits for the mantissa, and five bits for the exponent, this would now represent 0.0000030517578125, which is very different in scale indeed. So you can see that it's very important. We'll be talking more about this in a later video when we talk about range and precision. For now, it's enough to just be able to calculate the value of a eight bit number given the number of bits for the mantissa and the number of bits for the exponent. If you're trying to convert from deanery to floating point binary, we do it in a couple of steps. The first is to convert the number to fixed point two's complement binary using as many bits as necessary. Here in this example, we're doing the number 3.5, which would need four bits. Although I show a column for the decimal place, it's just there decoratively to make it easier to understand what's happening. Next, we shift the bits so that one is the most significant bit. Remember that as the most significant bit, it will be negative. So any positive number will have its first one in the 0.5 column. If you shift all the bits to the right, as we have done here, you increment the exponent by the number of places you shift it. And if they shift left, you decrement it, meaning the exponent will be negative. It starts at zero, we've moved two places to the right, so we're going to have an exponent of two. That's 0010 in binary. And checking the calculation there, 0.875 times two to the power of two is indeed equal to 3.5. So 3.5 in floating point binary with four bits for the mantissa and four for the exponent would be 0111010. That brings us to the end of this video on floating point binary. Join me in the next video when I'll be looking at absolute and relative errors. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. And until next time, it's bye for now.